I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. Come mm. here. Touch here. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. And God is going to help you. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. <clears throat> because I just saw a struggle in the ministry. Huh? Yes, sir. Are you having a church? No, my wife, she's pretending to start a ministry. Huh? My wife, she's pretending to start a ministry. Do you want to start? Yes, sir. I'm already seeing you people, you're going to struggle. The reason why I'm saying this is because I was told that there's a church, but there's a struggle. I'm hearing that everything that you people want to do, there's a struggle. Mm. Because when you came here, you wanted to find out about your calling. Yes, it's true. Are oh, you hearing me? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes. yes. So you want to start a church? Yes, mm. I want to start a church. Which church will you go into? Lion of Judah of all nations. What? Lion of Judah of all nations. So now, what has brought you here is a confusion. Yes. yes. It's a, I'm hearing a spirit of confusion. Mm. Yes, because I prepared the church, uh, but I bought the staffs, everything to start the ministry. And uh, in fact, I went some, to some men of God and they prophesied, they say, I have, I have calling from God. And he's like delaying, trying to delay. The reason why I'm saying, when I said I'm seeing a struggle, yes. is because I saw a church. Yes. When I'm seeing a church, but I'm not seeing people inside. Mm. Okay. Are you hearing me? Yes. yes. When I, it's like I'm taken where you are. Yes. And when I'm not seeing people inside, I'm hearing that there's a doubt. Yes. At the same time, there's a spirit of confusion. Yes. yes. So I want to pray for you, and I believe God is going to help you. Yes. Amen. Amen. Are you hearing me? Thank you. Yes, sir. Amen. Because to me, I thought already you were having a church because I had to struggle, struggle. I, I just heard that. It's true, man of God, because I'm really uh, I said, struggling. I was told a church. It's true. Struggle. That's what I had. Yes, because my yeah. husband is like blocking me not to go ahead Why and start the ministry. He's blocking me. He's been blocked. I'm been praying for for that for God to use him, because God he wants to use him too. And I'm been praying so God can open his eyes, you because I'm been struggling because of that issue. Where you are in the spirit is is somewhere. Amen. You are not in the same level. Exactly. Exactly. I've been praying for him for that. So now, you must go and pray more. Exactly. God is going to help you. Exactly. Are In you fact, I bought uh, everything to start the ministry. I supposed to start already a long time. And as I'm telling him, let me start. He say, wait, wait. All the time, wait. And I say, no. Because like me, like now, my heart like, is troubling. Did he say what to you? He, he say, I must wait. Who, dead. He say I must go ahead and open the ministry. I start the ministry. I, ha I must go ahead. Me and including him. He must go the because he's called. The reason he is, is doubting. Exactly. Hey, thank you, man of God. That is true. He's doubting. That, that is true. And he's having fear. Exactly. Exactly. This fear is... <sighs> exactly. But you're always watching us. Yes. yes. So you must get courage <laughs> from us now. Man of yes, God. Sir. He huh? saw many yes. things happen, but they still don't believe. They've been calling me even at night to go help people who are very sick. I go there. After a lot of people go and pray, bishops and pastors, but nothing happened. But he doesn't believe. Be careful of invitations. Yes. Yes. Because many invitations, they come with attacks. Exactly. Exactly. Do you hear me? Amen. Amen. Many invitations, they come with attacks. Amen. So you people, I'll pray for you, and God is going to help you today. Are you hearing me? Thank you. Thanks, Jesus. Thank you. I'll pray for you so that his spirit must be positive. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank because you. Because when you say this, he's saying this. Exactly. When exactly. You say this, or how about we do it this way? Amen. It's true, man of God. It's true. It's true. It's true. That is true. Hundred percent. Everything true. must be true because the Holy Spirit is here. Yes. yes. No, but that is true. I'm saying. It's yeah, true. I'm telling you. You're telling the truth because when I say yes, let's start it. Yes. Like I believe that we're gonna start it this. I'm gonna start this month.
Then he comes with issues, no, you don't start now, wait, and then I cry inside. I say, you don't believe what I'm feeling inside. Like this calling is troubling my heart. And you're not feeling the same way I'm feeling. Thank God and you came to Charis. Thanks God, thanks God. God really opened the way for thank me. Thank God you came to Charis. I thanks very much God. Uh, you know, God is doing great. And God is going to help. So I'll pray for you. Go and, go and start. Amen. Thank you. In fact, I came here for impartation. I told him I'm going for impartation because I believe. I know what you came here for. Amen. <laughs> and after we pray for you, go. Go and start. Amen. I want to pray for you. No more the issue of left and right. Yes, sir. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Because now you are delaying what God wants to do. Yes, sir. Daddy said he must go and start. I was still going to say the same. Yes, you know what I said? Yes, sir. I was still going to say the same that go and start. Amen. Why are you waiting for? Amen. Because Amen. people are dying. Amen. Where, Amen. where you're coming from, people are running away. That's where God wants to yes. raise. Amen. Amen. They are running away. They're coming here in Amen. South Africa. Here. Exactly. And when they're coming here, they're not even pastors. Exactly. They come here and start churches. They want to prophesy. And Go and start, Mama. Amen. Say, allow this woman to, st to start. Amen. Let's not, because sometimes when you, you block things of God, you can be shifted. I Tell told me, him that, thank you for saying I again. I want you to die before time. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So now, it's true. the reason is, if you allow her to start, even God is going to use you. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you. Amen. But when you become a stumbling block, uh, you can die before time. Yes, I'm sir. telling you. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Understand, sir. Your dreams, sir. Yes. Your dreams. Yeah. You've got bad dreams. Very bad. Huh? Very bad. So. You are free. You are free. I have prayed for Amen. you. Amen. No more bad dreams. Amen. I want to pray for you. God is going to help you. Amen. But please, go and do the work of God. Amen. Don't. He, he must never give you any reason from now. Thank Amen. you. But be Thank careful you. of invitations. Amen. Mm. Amen. Are you hearing me? I will. I will. Be more focused. Yes. Don't just go. run around and go everywhere. Yes. Mm. Sometimes when you run around going everywhere, you end up stepping on cases. Yes, yes, yes. I won't go. Not all grounds are fertile. <laughs> Jesus, my tine. Jesus, my tenant. Push her in. Come out. 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 Okay, my name is Pastor Sarah. Um, uh, Duran and next to me is uh, Lynn Duran. Okay, the words of prophecy I received today is concerned my ministry. Uh, the issue of um, my husband and me, we, has, we have argument. We've been having a little bit argument uh, because of this ministry because um, I supposed to go on with this ministry long time uh, but it's been stopping me he say I must not go on, I must wait. And Papa, can you tell us the reason why you kept on stopping your wife? Yes, uh, it's just that uh, I was waiting for the direction of man of God just to confirm that uh, there is really a calling. We didn't want just to start something uh, not having assurance. 
and Mama, uh, the man of God also mentioned the fact that you should be careful of invitation. Can you also tell us about that? Okay, the invitation is uh, like a family. There is uh, some issues um, like a curse in the family and uh, many times they're calling uh, some bishops from other church to pray and nothing happened. And sometimes you find out that somebody is sick in the family and they're calling pastors to pray and nothing happened. Bishops, nothing happened. And uh, they end up calling me to help them. And the minute I get there, God stretches their hands and deliver them. From now on, I'm going to stop going because um, when I go, wherever I go to pray for people, I see the, the people, they're not happy. There's some people, they're not happy with me. They're like angry and showing me ugly face. And uh, so I have to avoid. From now on, the men of God say, uh, they can be a setup, you know, they can put something for me to stamp one day, and so I must avoid, I must not go there. I encourage all of you viewers, if you have any type of problems like I was facing because now I'm free, thanks God, please do not doubt, do not uh, fall into this um, situation that, okay, no, I cannot do it, I cannot do it. If God speaks to you that you have to do it, this is something that you have to do it. So you have to listen to the, God, to, to the voice of God. And do not fight. Do not uh, be angry. You must just pray. Keep on praying. And ask God to use a man of God. And God is going to use any man of God. And be close to God. And there is, is going to be a door open for you. As is open for me. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus.